Uh, hey guys, do you since you here? And I just say that I am back from Canada. I mean, back from the U.S. I was in there for a long time. I had to do some stuff, but now I'm back. So I'm probably gonna get back to making videos. I gotta finish up the league one that people have been asking for, like the how to play league or how to be better at league or whatever that is. So I'm going to definitely try to um, you know get back on top of that kind of stuff. But for now, somebody asked me to do a how do you use the video like the other graphics card on your laptop. So if you're having the issue where you don't know how to use the other graphics card and you just got a new computer, uh, the G70 is what I have. So someone asked me how do you use the G70 as other graphics card and um, this is how you use it. This is how I use it, okay? There's three ways, right? So this, this is the first way. So you right click your screen, okay? And then you go to the video control panel. Now this window will open and in this window you will see, you might see it like this if you haven't opened this yet. So you want to open up all these and then go to manage 3D settings, okay? Then 3D settings should be like this. Um, this is for NVIDIA cards. I don't, I don't know about the uh, Radeon cards or anything like that. So this is for specific NVIDIA cards or G-Forces, G anything like that, GTX, anything like that, just anything like Radeon, like the HD 9, 8 something M or whatever, 6, 6, 8 something N, sorry, whatever. I, I don't know about those cards. So what I did, well, let's switch from preferred graphics card processor to high performance so that no matter what program I open, it always opens up in the uh, video card side. But the problem with that is that um, sometimes that can be a bad thing for your computer because then you'll be o always be overusing it. Like you'll be kind of always, always overworking your computer unnecessarily. And that's not a good thing all the time. Depends on what you're doing. Like I, I don't know, like, I, like I'm always, have, I'm always like video editing or have Photoshop open or have like a lot of like crazy programs that require that open. So I just, I don't really care at this point. Like my computer runs fine. It's a little bit slow sometimes because I have a lot of stuff open and it's like a lot of tabs and all that stuff. But that's just me though. That's just me personally making my computer slow on purpose. This is a great computer that runs fast. But if you are having issues where you open up a game and you have like 20 FPS and you're like, okay, I know this game is not that serious. I should have 60 FPS if it's on the graphics card. It's probably not on the graphics card. There's a lot of games that it, where it opens up in the default as the integrated and not the graphics card side. So what you want to do is do this. So yeah, so I change the preferred to high performance. See how this is integrated or high performance, put it to high performance. That's one way. But if you don't want to have a computer always overclocking itself pretty much, or overworking, not overclocking, overworking, go to performance setting. And let's say I want to change so that league will always open up with the graphics card. You find your program, you click add, and then you go through the list of all whatever programs are. I was using Photoshop as an example, and you open it up. Go, okay, you go to this, and, and you change it to the high performance so that it always opens up. Or it'll everything uses global settings unless you manually change it. So, so as I was saying, league. I put league to high performance, and it'll always open up that no matter what the global setting says. So that's another way of doing it manually. Or another, the third way of doing it is if you have a program and it's on your desktop and it's, and it's a whatever, and it's a shortcut, you right click the shortcut, okay? And the shortcut will open up and it says run with graphics processor. So the open, whatever troubles with compatibility, run with graphics processor and then click the high performance. Or you can even do this, but it'll still bring you to this window and you'll still have to find it. But just right click, run with graphics processor, high NVIDIA processor, high performance NVIDIA processor. And you should have no problem, That's and your computer should, you know, be automatically doing that kind of stuff but um if you want me to give any more tips if any tips to do with radeon or um amd cards or anything like that i don't know much about those cards i don't have those cards my brother has it and i know it uses like the catalyst and i don't know too much about that i, I can go look at it and i'll and i'll try to help you guys out with that but if you're if you have a nvidia card this video should be able to help you out but um, yeah, this is DUS Ninja. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the lack of videos. It's been a while. We're still getting subs, so that's kind of nice. But uh, you know, thanks for being supportive. Thanks for not unsubbing because we're not making videos. We'll try and catch up. And um, yeah, thanks. See you guys later.